everyone, my name is Maria and I will be giving you some tips in today's video how to paint a realistic looking apple. I do have a full class on like how to paint a single apple, a couple leaves, but also how to paint a full apple tree, so lots of apples. And this is available on my Patreon, so www.patreon.com slash Maria Morjane. First step is to wet the apple. Everything I pretty much paint is wet on wet. So I wet the surface of the paper first and then I apply colors wet on wet. So this is where I want the paint to kind of spread at first. So I want the paint to spread, which is why on my brush I have this milk or water like ratio so you can see how the paint is spreading. I really don't care about having that much control with this first layer. Now I'm grabbing a little more of this imidazolone yellow. Right, so this was more like a half and half. I'm gonna go to where I see these highlights, which is, which is right there. To create depth, a realistic look of an object, you do wanna start with undertones. Of course, light and shadows are very important, so we need to stay away from the lightest areas when we apply colors. So for the highlights, we can always add a little bit of blue or blue-violet. So you would mix a little bit of blue with red, for example. I'm gonna grab a little bit of follow blue. So there's my follow blue. If the follow blue feels to you like it's just too blue maybe, it doesn't feel right, you don't see that color, grab a little bit of quinacridone red. Make it blue violet. Once you're done applying all the undertones, it's time to let the paper to dry. Now that the apple has dried, I can add a second layer. So there's different ways to create those highlights. Uh, you can wet the entire apple or you can avoid those highlights. So this is what I kind of want this apple to look like. So what I did here, I first wetted the apple, but I avoided like a larger section of this highlight and here and here as well. So just like before, the first step is to wet the apple and I am avoiding the areas with those highlights. I'm ready to start applying colors. I'm grabbing a little more water with my brush. This is gonna feel more like a between milk, I'd say, and between milk and half and half. So this is my Quinn Red too. And first, I'm gonna go closer towards the highlights. I do want the paint to spread, but I feel like this is too much. So what do I need to do now? I just need to wipe my brush a little bit on a towel. I'm gonna grab again, Quinn Red right here, and this yellow and come back to these areas so I can see the separation of colors, which is what I want. I do want to see that. And I'm continuing with this kind of milk to half and half like ratio between what I'm painting. Now I have another highlight, which is like below this part, right? So I'm just gonna go where the darkest part is on the bottom. Once I'm done applying the lightest colors, then I want to start adding richer and richer reds. And this includes shadows. Okay, so now I have enough of those reds, right? I'm not done with it yet. I just want a little more color there. And now I'm going to grab this, I guess this is my sap green here. And then I want some of this follow blue here. Now I want this to be like a uh, between heavy cream and half and half. This is too dark a little bit, so I'm just going to grab a little more of the red, even more red. Um, it felt like it was too dark, but you know what? Looking at my test piece, it wouldn't be bad to have these darks, more of darks, like darker uh, tones right here. So I'm, I'm gonna wipe my brush in a second. I'm just going to use what I have a little bit, at least. And then I'll go with like a, a lighter tone of these darks. Now, once you painted the apple and the apple is still wet, you can lift the colors. So we can lift the colors. So one area is gonna be here. I'm kinda already lifting, but it's not good timing to lift, really. So now this middle section is kinda ready for me. So that's why I'm starting to uh, lift the colors right there, for example. So you just wanna go in a circular motion. So I clean my brush. Wipe it well on a towel, and I go like in a little circle, like a tiny, tiny circle. 
So once again, if you would like to take a real-time recorded class with me, so where I talk while painting in real time, not just a voiceover tutorial, please head over to Patreon. And I would love to see you there. And there's two classes. Uh, one is like a full tree of apples with apples, red apples. And then the other one is like a beginner version, uh, just one apple and a couple of leaves. So thank you so much for your time. And please let me know if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.